Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining and being on time. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a monthly reset exercise. So this is something I personally do every month, either at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month, and it helps me reprioritize and refocus what I'm going to be doing for the next 30 days. And you're going to be able to get the free download. So I have the link here. It's brokeragenation.com slash accountability. And you'll see there's four different downloads. So if I'm looking at my computer screen, I'm on brokeragenation.com slash accountability. You'll be up at the top of the screen. You have to scroll down underneath the videos. And you'll see there's four downloads here. So when I initially messaged everybody with these links, there was only two downloads. I added two additional bonus downloads for you guys. So after this webinar, if you want, go back and download these for you. And I want to go through all four of them to show you how I leverage them. So uh, we have four different versions of this. The first one is the tool that I use at the beginning of every month. And I want to show it to you on the computer screen here. Make it big. And zoom in. Okay, so this is the one that I use. It's called the monthly reset. So I use this tool specifically so that I can uh, write out a list of all the things that I think I want to get done that month. Then I write out my why for the top three because it's so easy for you to get busy with the busy work and then you don't do the things that you want to do. So um, if you have a strong why behind it, the how becomes a lot easier. Uh, and then I break down those into smaller chunks. So that's the first download we're going to go over. The second download that we're going to go over is the weekly tracker. Oh, there's a question. Okay, cool. No question. So this is the weekly tracker. And um, now, I, now that I know what I want to be doing for the month, I break it down by writing out my top three at the top. And then I want to actually do an exercise and show you how this weekly tracker works. But every week, this will keep you on track because a week will go by, two weeks, three weeks, a month has passed, and then you still didn't get your big goals done. It happens to all of us. So this tool right here will keep you on track for that. Then I gave you a bonus sheet that you guys haven't downloaded that yet, but you are going to be able to after this webinar. And it's this one here. It's uh, the project breakdown because some projects are so big and entail so many moving parts that um, you kind of need a, a sheet just for itself. So I'll write down the list of all the things I have to do for that project. And then I break it down into smaller building blocks. Like let's say I have a big project where I want to do um, a seller lead campaign. So I'll have to have a landing page. I'll have to have Facebook ads. I'll have to have a video. I'll have to have a lead follow-up and a funnel. Those are all pretty big parts to put together. So I'll break it down into smaller parts, and then I'll just chip away logically at whatever makes sense. The fourth bonus that I'm giving you guys is this one here. It's called, basically called my scratch pad. And um, I know how you guys work. You just write everything out on a piece of paper, and you just have like an ongoing to-do list, right? Um, so I made this for those people, which is probably most of you. So I'm going to go through, this is actually the one that I use, and um, this is the one that I like the best. So instead of breaking it down weekly, I just have one piece of paper that I use the entire month, um, and sometimes I'll end up going through two of these pieces of paper, or I'll flip it over and use the back side. So these are the downloads that you're going to get. They're totally free, and uh, go to that link that I gave you. Now you all should have this download. So grab your piece of paper that you downloaded. Up at the top left, it will say monthly reset, right? Hopefully. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a monthly reset. So at the beginning of every month, I start over here on the left, and I'll list out all the projects and goals that I think I want to accomplish. So let me write something here. Okay, so all your projects and goals. I'm just gonna slowly, I want you to actually put your pen to paper right now. What are all the things that you think you wanna get done in the next month? Just write them down in no logical order. Just get them off your mind into this piece of paper. So I wanna be like, okay, uh, I got old leads. 
I should probably call some old leads. I got to clean my database. And this is your list, so make your list. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Um, order new design and order new business cards. Uh, referral follow-up plan. Update the seller package. Create that YouTube channel so it's free. You totally should have a YouTube channel. Do a 30-day video program. So you really should be doing video, um, leveraging it for your business. And there's some really cool programs out there, like a 30-day challenge where you can try and make a video uh, every day for 30 days. 30-day video program. Hire an admin or a virtual assistant. And set up uh, the 12 month plan for farming, so farming plan. Okay, so keep writing. Let me know uh, how you guys are doing if you need more time. Now, normally when I'm writing and I'm not using this note tool, because I'm trying to share my screen with you, I would write out one per line. So now what I do with my list is I'll itemize what are my top three. So for me personally, on this list, I'd say uh, hiring the admin would be number one. And then I'd say the old leads would be number two. And then I'd say the referral follow-up plan would be number three. So take your list and just write out one to three or maybe one to four, but you don't have to write them all out. Um, some people will put a number beside all of them. You're not going to get to all of them anyways in one day, right? So just try and chip away at your top three every day. That's what I do. Um, and then tomorrow you're going to reprioritize based on how that day is going, what tasks you have that day. Maybe you have a closing, maybe you have some pressing things that are happening. So your days are going to be different every day. So I don't write out a number for everything. I just write out a number for my top three. Now, does anybody still need time for writing out their list? No? Okay, so now that I have uh, my list written out, I'm like, okay, number one is hire my admin. So over here on project one, I'm gonna write out the name. Hire admin or virtual assistant. Now, why do I wanna hire an admin or a virtual assistant? So I'm gonna write out this. So my days hold me back from generating Okay, so my why for hiring an admin or a virtual assistant would be because my days hold me back. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta put somebody on mute here. There we go. Okay, 
If you're hopping on the webinar, mute yourself. You can go ahead and unmute yourself if you have a question, which I prefer. Let me know if you want to have a question. Go ahead and chat. But um, if you're not having a question, just leave yourself muted. Okay, so my why for hiring an admin or a virtual assistant would be because my days hold me back from generating new business. Like you're, I'm always putting out little baby flyers and I'm always doing busy work. Um, so I need to be able to leverage my balance, or sorry, I need to leverage my business in order to balance my family time. Oh, a second, there's somebody else here. Marissa, you can leave yourself muted. Um, unless you're trying to ask a question. Do you have a question, Marissa? No, because um, my uh, husband's facial is here, so I have to be there. Do you have a replay? I will after I record this session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I can leave. Thank you. Bye, Dan. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I write out my why at, at the beginning of the month or at the end of the month for why am I doing that task. And I'll do it for each of them. So my top three projects. So my number two project was the old leads. So I'll write in here, old leads. Why is this project important to me? Um, well, I paid for these already. It's low hanging fruit, like easy business. And Worst case scenario, I can work them for referrals. And clean up my database. So I can use it as an opportunity to clean up my database. Now those aren't very powerful whys. Um, I guess the real big why for me in this case would be that I already paid for it and I'm really cheap. So why would I pay for more leads if I'm not following up with the ones that I've already got, which is a common case for a lot of real estate agents. So that's a pretty big why. And then number three on my list was the uh, referral follow-up plan. Okay, so why is that important? Uh, well, referral and follow-up is uh, because it's the cheapest source of business. And I already have a base to work from. Like most of you already have a little bit of a database or you've done open houses and you've collected contacts that way. Um, you've talked to friends and family. Like you, you've got some sort of foundation that you can work from. So uh, it's not like you have to create something from scratch. You've already got something that you can build and play with. So just modify and adapt with what you currently have. Um, so I already have a base to work from. Okay, now that I wrote out my whys for them, I want to break down those projects into smaller chunks. Okay, so for this I'd say I have to um, document and for my virtual assistant, if I'm hiring a person, uh, I want to have to document the tasks and create an outline of what it is I want them to do. So I have to document and task and create an outline. I also have to uh, post the job on Upwork. And I have to watch Dan's video. So I actually have a video showing you guys how to find and outsource your work. And I give you all the tools that I use for outsourcing. So you should watch that. So I'm going to mic that down. Watch and video. Okay. Now, with that list, so I, I now have my list broken down into smaller chunks. I'm like, okay, what's the order of this? So number one, I should probably watch Dan's video because he uh, knows things that I don't. So I want to watch that and get some great ideas. And then number two, I should start creating a journal and document all the things that I want to hire this person to do for me. That way I'm not just uh, making it up when I hire the person. So going off track here, 
if I was to hire an assistant, um, I would keep a journal and document everything that's repeatable and uh, reoccurring. So anything that's repeatable and reoccurring, you can easily outsource. So um, I would start creating a laundry list of all the things. Like every week, okay, I can have them do this, 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 and this. Or anything that really holds you back that you don't like doing, like you really just don't like doing that part of the business where it makes you look bad because you just don't follow through. Um, maybe that's something you should outsource. Um, things that aren't high producing as far as your income level. So if you're a commissioned real estate agent, your highest and best use is showing properties, working with contracts, generating new business. Not necessarily posting the blogs and doing Facebook ads and, and that sort of thing. So um, I would source the things that make sense. And sometimes you have to create a list because you don't know what all those things are. So I would document it. Um, and then third, I would actually post the job on Upwork.com or Craigslist or something like that. Um, go through my network. So I itemed them all. One, two, three, four. Uh, that should number four on this list should be a one. It's not changing. So anyways, watch Dan's video is number one. Document and task is number two, and then post on up, up work is number three. Then on the other project, my working old lead project, I want to uh, export and print the leads. So I hope you're not just following me. I hope you're writing out your own list. So what I want you to be doing is whatever your number two project is or number one project is, Start writing out all the building blocks that you need for that project. I'm just trying to give you examples of what that looks like. Sort and sort leads into groups. Uh, scripts. Time blocking. Set reminder. Uh, set daily number. Okay. Okay. So for my list here, I would say number one would be sort. Number two would be to export and print the leads. Number three would be set my number. Number four would be time blocking. And number five would be getting my scripts ready so I can start calling. So see how, see how this works? by you breaking down your uh, goal into smaller chunks, now I know, okay, chunk number one is I have to sort my leads into groups. So I, you can only work on one thing at a time. So instead of being paralyzed with how big of a task and how big of a project is, what we're doing is we're shrinking it down smaller and smaller to that one thing. Okay, so uh, my other project is the referral follow-up plan. On that, I have to do Dan's 90-day challenge. Time block and set numbers. Remove and merge contacts. Update the contacts. Categorize and group. Okay, so now I'm going to number break all these tasks down. So I'm going to say, okay, number one will be categorize and group. Number two is remove and merge. Number three will be to do the time blocking and set my numbers. Number four is to do my 90-day challenge, which is free. And number five is to update the contacts while I'm calling these people. 
So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm setting the stage and the timeline for all the things that I think I have to do. I write them out in uh, order of importance, and then I just chip away, and I literally fail my way forward. So number one is categorize, categorize and regroup. What's that, what's that mean? I have to go into my database, and I have to group who are my sellers, who are my buyers. I have to like clean it up a little bit. And it sounds easy, categorize and regroup. But once I actually start doing it, I'm like, oh man, this is a bigger task than I thought. And I have to start breaking it down. So um, this is uh, my tool that I do at the beginning or end of every month. So that tool right there helps me discover all the things that I want to get done that week or that month. Uh, oh, there's a question. Where do I find that video? What is it called? Um, what video are you talking about? The 90 day challenge video or the outsourcing video? Both are on my YouTube channel. Message me that and I'll get that answer to you later. But both are on my YouTube channel. So now this is the other download that you guys have. This download right here is the weekly timer. So let me go over how this weekly timer works. Up at the top, I will write out what were my top three. So the f f number one was the admin. So write out what was your number one goal. Write it out here in spot number one. Admin and VA. My number two goal was uh, the old lead. My number three goal was the uh, referral follow-up. Now, you're going to notice how it's broken down into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday over here. So this whole row is for Monday. Now, before I write out my list of what I want to do today, I am going to write in here, project number one is uh, admin. And four, uh, let me draw a shape here. And for the next 45 minutes, all I'm going to work on is that task. And I already know what my number one thing for the admin was, the uh, watch Dan's video. <laughs> so for the next 45 minutes, I'm going to watch my video on how to do the outsourcing. And then maybe after I've watched that video, I'm like, well, that was really good. I want to do another one. So I set an egg timer for 45 minutes, and I'll just highlight 45 minutes. And during that time, I don't do anything else. I don't check emails. I don't check Facebook. Like, I'm very, very strict with my time blocking. I don't block my time based on, okay, every day from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Every day is a new day for me, and every day is a different scenario. Um, so I'm more of a go with the wind type of guy. However, wherever that wind is blowing, I always make sure to prioritize and be in the moment. So if I'm actually working, I'm in work mode. So for the next 45 minutes, I'm working away at whatever that task is. I'll do that once, maybe twice. Um, if you don't have any tasks to do that day, like maybe you don't have any big goals for some weird reason, then um, at, if nothing else, you should be prospecting or following up. So see how I have these smiley faces? Each one of those represents 45 minutes, and I will just circle one, and I'll chip away at it for the next 45 minutes, and I will be calling people back, I'll be following up with people, I'll be reconnecting with my database, I'll be touching base with people through Facebook Messenger. Um, I'll just be using that time as a lead generation time. Then, over here in the middle, where it says list out my day, that's where you're going to write out all the things that you think you want to get done that day. So every day is a new day, right? So maybe today you have a closing. It's a seller. And then um, maybe you actually still do tr traditional newspaper ads. And um, let's say you got to order new business cards. And you have uh, you want to make that YouTube channel because it's free and you're not leveraging it. 
So now that I write out my list for today, I will prioritize the items of today. So obviously the seller closing is the most important because that's money in the bank. Um, the newspaper ad, because it's time, time sensitive, they have to have that in the paper before it hits the, the deadline. So that's important. Uh, I'd say number three would be the YouTube channel because there's a lot of free exposure that you're not getting there and you have to order new business cards. So now that I have my list written out and prioritized, I chip away one thing at a time. Okay, so for the seller lead, I'm gonna set my egg timer for 45 minutes. And for the next 45 minutes, all I wanna work on is the seller. During that, it, don't, it didn't take 45 minutes. Let's just say it took a half hour. So underneath that, I'm gonna be like, okay, I can get these newspaper ads done, take me like 20 minutes. Okay, now I'm gonna set my egg time. I'm gonna take a little break, go talk to somebody in the hallway, get a coffee, do whatever you do. And then I come back, set an egg timer for another 45 minutes. And then what's my number three thing? YouTube channel. So YouTube. Set the egg timer for 45 minutes. If you can do an egg timer for 45 minutes, say three times a day of really hyper-focused, chipping away at your number one and number two tasks per day, you're gonna be a productivity machine. Um, so I do that every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. During that course of that week, I will be running into people, having conversations with people that I'm like, my leads and prospects all go into my database and I have a system to follow up with people. However, I will still write on a piece of paper, old school, I'll be like, Jim, Jones, and the opportunity with him is um, investing, investing in a home. So I'll write out the name of the person, and obviously their phone number or whatever, and then the reason. So there's a prospect and an opportunity. So what I'm doing for the course of the week is I'm just trying to get like nine or 10 people written on this piece of paper, and then at the end of the month, I'll have my weekly sheets, because we do this as an accountability group. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I gotta call Jim. Shit, it's been like three weeks, or whatever the case has been. So definitely you should be having a database, and I'm not saying paper is better than a database. However, paper is always with you. You can have this folded up and carry it around with you. Um, I do it as my scratch pad for all my notes and everything. And um, I'll write out a list at the bottom of who are all my prospects that I should be following up with. So I write that down at the very beginning. Outsourcing. So the question was, where do I find that video for outsourcing? Lori, before we hang up this recording, I'll um, copy and paste the link right in here for you. But for any of you who are watching this video in the future and you're like, oh, I wanna outsource, I wanna watch that video, um, if you just go to YouTube and type in Danny Wood Coaching and then add the word outsourcing, it'll come up. No problem. Okay, now, sometimes projects are so big that you have to break them down. So I have this piece of paper right here it's my project breakdown. So sometimes the project is so big, I have to break down. So I'm going to make this full screen. Okay, so what's the name of the project? So let's say this project is uh, seller leads. Why is this important? I need to list to last. Sellers are hot. And it's what the cool kids are doing. I'm just, quick, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so anyways, write out your why. Obviously, like this is a big project and you need to have a really big motivation. Um, probably the biggest motivation is that uh, you get a lot of money when you're a listing agent because you have a lot of marketing opportunity, you have the listing, you have people coming to you to buy the home, so you have a lot of leverage there. So 
Now, if I have to do uh, seller leads, I want to write out all the things I think I got to do. I need a landing page. I need a call to action. CTA, call to action. I, I want to have to do Facebook ads. I'm going to have to Google ads. I need a video for my landing page. Um, I need a funnel, so when people come in as a lead, I need some sort of follow-up. I mean, and the list can go on and on. So this is just me kind of scratching out some ideas. So I'm like, man, okay, of all of these, I want to start and work my way backwards. So I need a landing page would be number one. Call to action will be number two. The video will be number three. Follow-up plan, I'll make that as number four. And then Facebook will be number five, and Google will be number six. So now, before I get too ahead of myself, I'm not going to be overwhelmed with all the things I have to do. I'm going to be like, okay, what's the number one thing? Landing page. So I want to work with these building blocks. So I'm going to write out landing page here. And then I'm going to start breaking out what are all the things I have to do for the landing page. Well. Um, I won't have to watch Dan's video on how to make a landing page from scratch, so so he's got a cool video that shows you how to set up landing pages, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to have to write out the copy, so every landing page has a call to action, every landing page has copy. Uh, I need the video on that landing page, and with that I need a script. And um, that's pretty much it for a landing page. It's pretty simple, isn't it? So yeah, so now I want to itemize and be like, okay, I need, uh, I want to watch Dan's video first just to get some ideas. Um, I want to do the video and script second because that will help me create the copy. So see how I'm working this into a smaller chunk? And then I'll work away. Okay, for the next 45 minutes, so see down here it has a 45. Let me draw where so it's 45 minute chunks and it goes all the way across the bottom of the tape paper that's called a 45 minute kickstart so I will just set a timer for 45 minutes and then I will literally kickstart and fail my way forward okay I want to watch Dan's video get the ideas um, that's a 45 minute video so now I'm going to do another 45 minute kickstart so I circle that one and then I'm going to start my own video and write my own script so that might take you like three hours. <laughs> Who knows how long that one takes you. But um, just literally fail your way forward, 45 minutes at a time, breaking down one chunk at a time of what's the highest and best use of what you should be doing. And what you'll find is if you do this consistently, five days a week, four or five weeks of the month, um, you're going to be getting so many projects and tasks done. It is unbelievable. So I use this for the bigger projects, and the reason why I use this piece of paper is because on the back of this sheet of paper, I'll actually sketch out a drawing of what the landing page will look like. Um, I'll write out some ideas. I mean, you should, let me show you what my clipboard looks like. This is my clipboard, and you can see how messy the writing is. I mean, the paper is crumpled. I think there's a coffee stain on it. Like. I abuse these things, but I get so much done because it keeps me on course. So the project breakdown is a bonus tool that I made for you guys because sometimes the um, sometimes this weekly one, you don't have a lot of room for breaking down tasks. If you have a big project, you have a lot of tasks associated with it. So I have that for you. Now. I want to end off on this last one that I use. This is the monthly scratch pad. So this monthly scratch pad is awesome. So this is the monthly scratch pad. Okay, I use one piece of paper for the entire month. And I'm just going to kind of like point out the parts. So my big three at the top, I'll write out the month. So I'll say, okay, January or whatever the month is for you when you're watching this video, so you'll write out the month. 
Then you're going to write out your top three goals for that month or your top three projects for that month. And then um, down below, you'll see I have three things already written out. Email blitz, and that's a 30 minutes. So when I do email, I'll set an egg timer for 30 minutes and I'll blitz through it, skimming off the top of trying to just hit all the important ones because I get way too many emails. And I'm really sorry. If you email me and I don't reply back right away, send me a text message. I will answer. But um, anyways, with my email, I skim and really try to address the most important things. So I'll do that for 30 minutes at a time. But before I even do that, because email is always other people pulling your attention away and demanding your response. So before I do that, I'll always do lead generation. See how it's highlighted, lead generation. And it's got the dollar symbol, there's five of them. Um, I'll circle one of those dollar symbols and for 45 minutes, that's what I'm working on. I'm calling people, I'm prospecting, I'm following up, something. Then, or I'll do my project. So I'll write out what's my big three, number one that month, I'll write it out and I'll just start chipping away. Underneath here is my ongoing list of all the things that I have to do. Um, this is a week, so this column here is week one, this column is week two, this column is week three, and week four. And there's five days in a week, right? So every day, I'll try and do at least one 45 minute block of working on my most important tasks towards my goals. Uh, so this is my tool. This is how I do it. And then down here below, I just have a laundry list of all the things that I should be getting done and, and getting to eventually. And I will chip away at them one thing at a time. And um, it's really convenient for you guys when you write out your to-do list to always just work on the busybody work and not work on the project because the project is so big. Um, so I force myself to do it. I will do every day at least one 45 minute time block towards one of my big projects. And I'm telling you, this is the secret to getting ahead in business and in life and your balance of uh, what you're up to is because you're going to force yourself to get things done. Um, so yeah, I'll recap at the end of the week because some weeks don't go as good as others and I'll just like make a little mental note to myself. And then down below in this section here, down below in this section right here, this is where I write out a list of all of the leads. Not, not so much leads, because I get a lot of leads, but when I have a conversation with a person and I'm like, yeah, I gotta follow up with those people, I'll make a little note. And at the end of the month, I'll reconnect with those people. So my database and my follow-up plan is in place. It's already set it and forget it, kind of. Um, but I like to have a little mental note. And at the end of the month, I'll be like, oh yeah, I really should pick up the phone and call that person. Because it's so easy for two months to go by, three months to go by, a year to go by, and you haven't contacted that person. Like, people can fall in the cracks, even if you have a follow-up plan. So set up down at the bottom, write out a list of all the people that week that uh, you're going to want to follow up and contact at the end of the month. Now, let me minimize this. You're going to be able to download that. It is right here, brokeragenation.com slash accountability. You go to that page, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and there's four downloads. I just covered these downloads in chronological order. The last one was this one. The, uh, oh, no, the last one was this one, scratch pad. So that's the one I just did there. So what I'd like to do is invite you guys to join me. Um, every month, we're meeting as a group as uh, a monthly reset. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you, do you want to join me on this monthly reset? We're going to do it as a group and accomplish ongoing goals. Every month, we'll help you refocus and reset on your current path. So every month, it's kind of like the reset button. And we're going to re-itemize and reorder all of your goals. And then we're going to keep you accountable to it. So at the end of every month, we're actually going to, as a group, go over your clipboard and talk about the things like, did you get it done? No? Okay, what do you have to do going forward? So I'm going to help you stay accountable to your prospecting, your lead follow-up, and getting your big projects and goals done. So if anybody wants to get in on that, you can call or text me 
My cell number is 905-903-5442. You can also go to that link where I have all the downloads and I want to have a contact form, my phone number and everything there. Um, and I just like to see a show of hands. Who wants to join me on that program? Uh, let me open up the chat. You're welcome, you're welcome. Yep. Okay, so I already know there's, I don't know, there's already a couple groups set up of uh, people that want to do this. So let me know when I hang up the video. If you want to get in, I want to set up a date and time for uh, when we start officially. This is definitely something you can do on your own. I just gave you all the tools that you can do yourself. Um, you can get an accountability partner also, which would help. The problem with getting an accountability partner in your office is that they tend to let you slack off. They go away on holidays for a week, so you're like, oh, I don't have to do my stuff. Um, there's a lot of scenarios of why having an accountability partner locally isn't a good idea. When we do it as a group, we're uh, obviously if we have a group of 10 people, maybe one or two people miss that month because of holidays, but the other eight people are still there holding you accountable. So it's also like a mastermind group and it's ongoing. So uh, cool, cool, cool. Yes, there's a bunch of yeses. Awesome. Okay. So I want to stop this recording, but I want to keep hanging out for those of you that are with me live. And if you want to unmute yourself, ask questions, go ahead. I want to stop this. David, interested, yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. No questions, you guys don't wanna unmute yourself? Okay, well then um, I wanna hang up this video and this webinar, so thank you for being with me. Hopefully you have an awesome day. We just had Canada Day pass, so I know a lot of you are uh, catching up on the holidays. So use this tool. Thanks, Dan. I'm heading out now. I'll talk to you soon. Got it. Cool. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Hey, if you want to close more real estate transactions, get more buyer leads, and get more seller leads, click this button right here. It'll take you to our real estate group coaching page. Also, if you like this video and want more, you can subscribe by pressing this, or you can check out some of my past videos here. Enjoy!